Hey Libra, how's it going guys? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming to my channel and stopping by and taking a listen, especially for those of you who are new. I hope you enjoy the content and if you do, if you enjoy the content, please, you know the drill. <laughs> What's this? New journey, new lovers? I'm loving it. All right, let's see what's going on, Libra. So I have a little bit of a different style I'm reading. I don't use the bottom of the deck to tell me the overall influence. I use the bottom of the deck to, to tell me the backstory, the backdrop of what's going on. For me, I have a bit of a different structure. You're going to see right now. This is the actual situation of the week. So this is for the first week of July. Hold on a second. I'm going to take this too and just add it. All right. So we're doing the first week of July. Remember, these energies are fleeting. So they could be happening to you now, will be happening, or recently have happened. It's right around the time that you are listening to this reading for you guys, specifically for you guys. This is what's coming towards you. This is behind the scenes. This is what you're not aware of. We have two more, and we're going to get this reading going. All right, uh, this is your advice. And let's just get one more for outcome, and we could start cooking. Look at this, Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign female. Fire sign female, Aries Leo Sagittarius. We're going to see what's going on and why she's in your outcome position. The bottom of the deck. I have the King of Pentacles. This is a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. This is somebody very grounded. For some of you, I immediately heard boss in my head. So, because this person is about the coin, this is about structure. So this is somebody you're dealing with, could be slightly older than you, is your age or slightly older than you, maybe asking you for a partnership, maybe promoting you, something, uh, I'm vibing something like that. Let me see. Yeah, you're, you're working on some kind of project with this King of Pentacles because I have the Magician over here too. It's got you a little bit stressed though. You're a little worried about where it's going. But, you know, there's also Temperance here which is telling, telling me you are being divinely guided, balance and patience, and all is well. Yeah, and the Fool's here again. All right, let's begin. So. We have the three of wands for your situation, waiting for your ships come in, uh, discussing your future. You're definitely waiting for something to happen. The wheel of fortune. The wheel is moving in your direction and it, the fates are working on your behalf and you are no longer in a stuck situation or um, in a stuck motion. Things are starting to move for you and in your way. I have the Eight of Wands in reverse. This is just telling me uh, you're waiting for some kind of message to come in, some kind of information, some kind of proposal. Proposal being from a person in relationship or proposal in work. I see you waiting, waiting. This didn't, these messages have not come in yet. So we're going to go in and clarify in a bit and see what this is all about. What's coming towards you is the Five of Swords in reverse. I like this. It tells me that you recently had to cut your losses regarding a situation and or a person and or a relationship. You're no longer in your head about this. You faced your demons and you've conquered. We're going to see in a sec what that's all about. Behind the scenes, I have strength. Needing strength to persevere for a specific situation. But in the upright position tells me you do that in spades. Or you could also be dealing with a Leo. So I digress. Now, as far as uh, advice, it says keep working on your job, your pentacles, your, your craft, your this. Could also talk about working on a relationship or your foundation. This is the advice. So it's telling you keep doing whatever it is that you are doing. Queen of Wands, we said uh, earlier that fire sign female Libra. This is a Aries Leo Sagittarius. And we're going to see in a bit how she's involved with you and your life. So let's go ahead and start clarifying some of these things here. Let's use this deck. This is the deck that's calling out to me. All right, one more shuffle. And we can begin. Oh. All right, guys.
guys. Sorry about that noise in the background. That's, you know, something called life, a six-year-old who is trying to climb a counter to get to scissors. I'm debating <laughs> what to do right now. Okay, she stopped, thank God. All right. All right, Universe Angel Spirit Guides, what are these messages? What are we waiting for? What are the fates telling us here? Thank you. Page of Cups. Are you waiting for an offer? You're waiting for an offer, that's for sure. I don't know if this is also an apology of sorts. Let me have one more, please. It's going to come your way. It's just taking a beat. It's taking a minute. Yeah, you're definitely waiting for some kind of proposal. For sure. Here we are. You have the Page of Cups. This is a proposal for a date. Uh, a, an apology for reconciliation or this is just saying that um, someone kind of throws you a text in your way saying hey I kind of like you let's go out so I feel as if you're waiting for somebody to give you a call regarding something emotional so this is talking about a date or reconciliation of some sorts and you've been trying to manifest this situation whatever it is but the fates are working on your behalf it's some, it's definitely something you've uh, invested time in. So this could be some, uh, this you you could be trying to reconciliate with somebody, or formalize your dating situation. Uh, in a, in other words, hey, what are we? But this is definitely somebody you've invested time and energy with. Somebody who may have walked away from you in the past, or you walked away from them that you feel sad and guilty. You had to temporarily cut them out of your life. I think some of yeah, and then you stop talking and you stop communicating. So this is definitely telling me here, guys, that you're you're getting that lack of communication, but you're still waiting on them. You're waiting for an apology. You're waiting for reconciliation. It's definitely the, that type of energy. So this is the um, the situation of this week for the first week of July. So you're definitely clinging on or holding on to something from the past, or you're waiting for somebody in the past. You're not. You're trying not to think about it. You're with this in reverse. You're trying to. This is how it is to you. To me, it was in my way. You're trying to ignore this. You're trying not to think about it. So this is why you're working extra hard over here. You're trying to concentrate on your job, your craft, whatever it is that you're doing on your day-to-day -day life. So you're trying to push these emotions aside. All right, let's keep going and see what this is. Universe Angel Spirit Guides, what is this Five of Swords in reverse, please? Tell us what this Five of Yeah, you're. Th this is some sort of toxic cycle you're trying to repeat, guys. Either it's you who keeps, you know, going after these types of people that are not good for you. They're just toxic. They're, they're some, it's, it's like you have a type and you keep going back to that type. But I think you're starting to understand that you can no longer do this. You, you can't keep repeating these cycles. So you're trying to ignore what's going on because you think that they may or may not come back. But there's another side of you that's acknowledging the fact, Libra, that you can no longer repeat these toxic partners, these toxic cycles. Because this is how it's shown to me. The devil, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, somebody from your past who's left you out in the cold. Or you left them out in the cold. At some point you had wish fulfillment with this person. But you know what? They turned you in this. They, they shrank you. They, they totally, totally shrank you guys, and it left you torn not knowing what to do. When I say they shrank you, this is telling me you are an empress, and they're probably a knight. They're not even a king. They're just a knight, and you're an empress, and you turned yourself upside down for this person to get your wish fulfillment, but they left you out in the cold. What do I mean they shrank you? You are here, Libra. They are here. They didn't come up so you could scoop them and bring them up. They just stayed down there. So you went down here to meet their level. Why? I said this to Aries the, uh, five minutes ago. They couldn't afford you. You're telling yourself that's okay. It's not okay. You need to acknowledge your fears. You need to acknowledge your patterns. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at the messenger, Libra. This is what I see. Because you guys are so loving and kind and giving. And then when you see that they don't acknowledge that anymore, you just cut your losses and you move on. Because that's what this card also says, cutting your losses and moving on. And then you move on to the next partner. But you can't move on to the next partner if you don't understand the lessons that are being learned. So I think what is happening here, the universe is reintroducing this to you. Because over here, when I see the Wheel of Fortune, I'm, 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 they're moving in your direction. They have your back. 
So, so I, and I think for a lot, for the collective, uh, in, in the whole entire Zodiac collective, the universe is repeating certain things because they want to make sure that we've learned our lesson. So they can give us, you know, beautiful gifts that are, are waiting us. And when I see the Wheel of Fortune, it's telling me the universe has an exceptional gift to give you. They just want to make sure that you're not going to repeat this, that you're learning from this. So this is what's coming towards you. Very interesting. So these are the types of energies you're going to see in the month of July. So this strength, again, having the strength, and you will have the strength to persevere and get through this. This is telling me, again, the universe is testing you and, you know, how, how you respond to relationships, how you respond to matters of the heart. Ironically, in all my decks, you know how this looks. He's trying to, here in this, he's trying to tame the beast. He hasn't completely tamed it. And this is matters of the heart. If you look at the cave, the entrance, it's shaped as a heart. It's a little jagged. It's a little imperfect, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and clarify this bad boy. What is this behind the scenes, this strength? Why are we needing strength and needing to control this beast? Again, I, I personally believe this is you trying to tame um, toxic patterns. Here's, an, here's the actual beast. Yeah, because this person had burdened you quite a great deal. Look at this. He's the wounded warrior. He's And now because he put so many burdens and has kind of made you feel a little bit isolated. I don't know why that word popped in my head. This partner that you've been with has gotten, has made you isolate, has isolated you. But you're moving forward. So like I said before, you do have the strength. You do have the fortitude to move past this because even though you're the wounded warrior and you've put up barriers now, you're almost at the end. They're saying, keep going. Do not stop, Libra. Do not stop. Keep going. Here, singular focus, good, bad, it doesn't matter. Positive, negative, black, white. That's what that means. Yin yang. You're still going. You're, you're understanding that you're on a mission. It seems like you were in a mental jail, but it, it, again, you were ignoring it and not paying attention to it. So you're trying to move away from it. Yeah. This person that this lover that you had, this person was a playboy. He was in and out. He was just like there for the sex even though you invested your time and energy in trying to manifest this relationship. Very interesting, Libra. Advice. Keep working on you. Keep working on yourself. This isn't just your coins and your money and your job. This is working on your whole entire foundation. You know, you spiritually, you mentally, you physically, you financially. Let's go. Let's see what's going on, Libra. Because now you're evolving and you're understanding. You know your level of worth. You're no longer going to give it away for free. No more free stuff. A couple more. Tell me here. Knight of Cups. Temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Ugh. This didn't want it to come out upside down. It doesn't matter. The messages are just the same for me. I'll let you know in a sec. The higher font. This is what I just said, finding yourself in a higher spiritual realm, understanding yourself and the journey that you're on, how you're evolving, how you're waking up to it. For me, sideways means it's a challenge. This is like a no-go. This is moving forward. For me, when it falls out of the deck sideways, it's a challenge. So you're being challenged spiritually and, you know, and how you are waking up to the specific journey because paired with the temperance. This is another card from your angels telling you balance, patience, understanding. You need balance in your life. You can't just have be like, you're all in on love and not work, or you're all in on work and not love. There's a balance and you're all in, in the relationship and they're not. No, balance, balance. It's being challenged. Your relationships, another card of relationships and unity is being challenged. The Knight of Cups, it's telling you to accept and honor whatever uh, messages that come in for an apology. You need to forgive them in order to move on. You can't be like, yeah, 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 whatever. 
I'm just moving on and I'm looking for the next hot thing or the next thing in my life. I've moved on. I'm good. I sliced you out. Goodbye. No, it's telling you take extract the lessons that you learned in a loving way because this is all in your advice position. So it's saying carry on with the beautiful heart and soul that you have. Go back to loving life like you used to. Understand that you're growing spiritually. You're learning and gaining wisdom and you're understanding and returning balance back into your life. Bring these back into the fold. Bring these back into, and look, you do do that because you drop the burdens. Here we are, the 10 in reverse. It's gone, it's done, it's over. So you are transitioning to this. But your advice is telling you, do not forget this. Bring back balance into your life. Be more spiritually woken to the, the lessons that you are learning from this. Make sure that you can forgive in order to move on. Work on yourself. That's why I was telling you before all these cards came out, needing to work on yourself emotionally, spiritually, physically. So this is why it came out. Working on yourself emotionally. Working on yourself spiritually. Working on yourself physically in the world of balance. Balancing your work life, your, your love life, your friendship, all of that. This all talks about <clears throat> restoring that kind of balance into your world. So right now you're all work and you're ignoring what's happened to you. But you are doing this because you are dropping burdens. This will help you drop these burdens very easily. Look, when you're moving on to a better direction, you're added with choppy waters. I like this because there's two people in this. So it looks like you're moving forward to a new relationship with somebody else. It's usually a child in this, but this one doesn't have a child. And you're manifesting a new future, a healthier one. I like this quite a great deal. All right, let's keep going. Libra, who is this person? Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. This is you. This is the person that's coming towards you. This is the gift that the universe wants to give you. Your soul counterpart. Look at this. This is the king and queen of rods. Yes, it could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but this more or less tells me this is your divine counterpart. You will be meeting somebody that is your true soulmate. This person is very passionate. You will be very passionate. You will have a loving, passionate relationship together. Why? Because I have this king of cups at the bottom of the deck. He loves you. You love them. There's total love. This is having your emotions in check, in balance. Yeah, this, this person thinks that you're very attractive, very self-sufficient, very well put together. Oh my God, wish fulfillment is here. This is amazing. The Empress fell upright, ten of cups. This is your soul person coming in. But you can't have this person yet until you can clear away these energies. Because this is what I think is going on for you, Libra. It's teaching you a lesson how to get rid of toxic patterns and partners that you've had in the past. This is amazing. Amazing. Look at how he sees you. It's gorgeous. All right, moving on. Let's get some romance angels here. Oh, that's totally the king and queen of wands. Ah, all right, fall. Guys, I just noticed that another card that flew out on the floor, I'm going to read it to you. I can't even believe I just saw it right now because I went to go pick this card up right here. Look what I found on the floor. Holy shit. I, it's like as if the universe was hiding that from me for a second because this is what I wanted to say about this person. Because I suspect this was the last card when I pulled out the Queen of Wands. It's so strange. Before I was saying like, I can't believe they only gave me the Queen of Wands. That's not enough of information. This flew on the floor. I didn't even realize until right now. And now that I did see it, it's like as if the timing was right. How crazy. This is your soul counterpart. This is a brand new love. This is what the universe wants to bring into you. You guys have a past life relationship. This is definitely your soul person. There's a good chance though, uh, Libra, and hear me and hear me good. There's a good chance that you might not see this for what it is when it comes in. You might see this as, eh, meh, I don't care. It's like, uh, I'm, I'm dealing with this energies. I'm getting over an X. I, I don't know what I'm looking for right now. I don't know. This is somebody that's very different. 
they're very passionate and they're going to bring a whole new element into your life. It's going to be passion and love. And usually I know you guys are very cerebral, very intelligent, very smart. And you, you're very witty Libra, but this is going to bring in a different type of love, a different type of energy. And this person's going to balance you. This is why we had temperance. This person is so very different than what you're used to. They're not this, this toxic repeat type of person you normally go for. They're going to balance you out. They're going to be the yin to your yang. As where you are rational, logical, cerebral, they're going to be fiery, hot, fun, adventurous, exciting. They're going to be your counter. Just for example, you are the Libra, right? What's the other counter on the, on the zodiac wheel? Aries. Good chance this person's an Aries. They balance you. For some reason, it works. It's dynamic. You have a past life relationship. You have a soul contract with this person. This person could be a karmic. However, I don't feel that way. I feel this is your counter. And now your past life is coming back to claim you. And very soon tells me this is like the four of cups for me. You don't know if you want it. You're not seeing it for what it is. This is very interesting. Guys, remember, these moments are fleeting. They all change. You might change your mind. I don't know. We're going to go. We do these readings weekly and we're going to keep going and we're going to keep seeing. I want you to come back and see if this story changes. But you're going to have to decide what you're going to do with this person because if you don't want this person, the universe wants to spit them back out for somebody else who does want them. Hmm. I don't know. Hold on one second, please. Not that, guys. All right, universe. Just spirit guides. Any more messages for my Libras? Yep. Couldn't be more plain. Couldn't be more simple. Listen to your intuition. What does your intuition say? At the bottom of the deck, I had wait. So, before you make a judgment call, because over here we have soon, right? Very soon. Before you make a judgment call regarding this person, wait. Wait and get all the facts. Wait to get over this past energy of shit that you've been dealing with, Libra. And just hang in there. All right, let's get one last message from the sorry about that power of love. Okay, universe and spirit guides. What do we have for power of love? All right, I'll just take that because it went flying out like that. Oh my god, I just entire reading this is what your reading should be transformation use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness so weird i wanted to pull an oracle card from the e deck but this one was calling to me for you and now i see why now i know transformation you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness exactly guys you are going through a powerful transition you are getting away from, you know, toxic patterns, behavior, and shitty toxic people. And you're moving into a new understanding of what a healthy relationship looks like, what love looks like, balance, healthy, new relationship, commitment. And you're going to, tr you, you, you may accept this person, but you need to go through this transformation. It's an absolutely beautiful reading. Thank you for tuning in. If you did enjoy the content, guys like, share, subscribe, and I will be talking to you guys very shortly. Bye, Libra.